Hi friends, today's topic is namespaces. So I would be discussing about namespaces now and it is all about XML namespaces. XML namespaces is the most difficult concept in XML. Even the experienced developers also sometimes get confused with this XML namespaces. But this is one of the easiest concept in XML. And today we would be discussing about this XML namespaces. I'll make sure that it is very very simple friends. Just listen to this classroom and what I meant here is just listen to this classroom is make sure that you are available with me if you are available with me I'll make sure that this namespaces is the damn easiest thing in XML so now let us consider the scenarios and try to explain this namespaces. So I have put across this image for a namespace. So what do you feel about this image? So here, this image So in this image, so what you have is that uh, you have this racks one two three four you have multiple racks so here this rack the contents what you put here is different from the contents that what you put in this racks don't worry about that just i have put across this image we will see it later what it is now coming to namespaces my scenario is how i want to explain the namespaces for example, you take this table. Now, this table, the context where it is used is where it is used is very important for example this table of spouse tells in the dining party arrange dining table and this is for dining party and next database developer he tells database table and it will put the contents in this table so it is nothing but it's in a particular database he may use put the contents in this table and next is HTML developer he may tell HTML developer, he may tell just table and he will tell display the contents using table. Now, here based on the contents. The same word table, it's behaving differently and it is having a different story framed in the mind based on the context where it is being used. For example, if I tell it is dining party, then the table is dining table. For an HTML developer, if I tell it's table, then it is called as HTML table. 
used for display purpose and if it is for a database developer then it is a database table so now the users how they build the story on this table and the story is their experience on this table and their usage on this table is totally different so that's what a namespace is that is nothing but the context so here what i wanted to tell is that even in xml also you can group the elements using namespaces group the elements and uh, attributes using namespaces and here you have partial names and complete names see partial name is table it creates confusions but if you add the context the complete name like dining table database table and html table then there won't be any confusion people can easily understand this one the same thing now here also what we will do is we will try to separate the elements and attributes by providing unique names in xml using namespaces so this completes part one of namespaces friends thank you let me write this part one xml namespaces stay tuned and read the part two of namespaces